Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be starting a new series, as you can probably tell by the title, it is called The Coffee Crawl. So I've had this idea for a couple months now, I started filming it over the summer, and I've just been sitting on it since because I haven't been 100% sure the direction I want to go with it, but I figured today was the day we're finally going to sit down and do it and get it out there in the world. As you guys know, I am a huge iced coffee gal and I absolutely love exploring and traveling to new cities, countries, places, all of that kind of stuff. And I really wanted to find a way to kind of combine those elements that I really enjoy and share them with you all. Originally, I was thinking of doing kind of a PDF or a guide to different cities that I've been to. Um, for example, kind of starting out with DC and doing kind of one big PDF that could be available to purchase at a really low price that has places to stay, places to eat, um, drink, visit, shop, everything like that. Um, but I just wasn't sure if I had an audience for that yet. That's something that I definitely really want to do in the future, but for right now, I'm not sure if I have a market for that. So I ended up landing on this idea, which is Coffee Crawl. The Coffee Crawl is essentially a series where I take you to my favorite coffee shops in a certain area or location, this first episode being Washington, DC. As some of you probably know, I grew up in the DC area, so I've really come to know and love these coffee shops over the years, and I'm so excited to share them with you all. I could definitely film like a part two, three, four, and five to Washington, DC coffee shops there no limit um, but these are just some of my favorites and I'm really really excited to share them with you all I hope you guys love this series as much as I do and yeah okay so first up we have compass coffee a staple in my DC coffee routine you can find these shops on pretty much every corner of the city they have a ton of locations so they're super convenient and easy to find there are a ton of reasons that I love compass coffee and maybe the most important one being is that it's genuinely really good coffee Compass Coffee's motto reads, dedicated to making real good coffee. Nothing fancy, nothing too crazy or hard to pronounce, just really good. And honestly, that sums it up perfectly. As a bit of background, the owners were in the Marines together and that's how they got into the ritual of making coffee. So when they retired, they decided to start Compass Coffee in the DC area. The compass in the logo represents gathering your bearings and pointing you in the right direction, which the owners felt was symbolic of morning coffee. The staff is always super friendly and happy to see you. I always have such great conversations with the baristas when I'm ordering and when they're making my drinks. The stores are vibrantly decorated with cans of coffee and maps of where the beans are sourced. I really love looking at them when I'm waiting for my order. It just has a lot of DC pride and as a kind of DC native, I absolutely love that. My personal go-to order is the vanilla cream cold brew. You guys know I have a super high caffeine tolerance and this stuff gets me wired for the day. So simply put, Compass Coffee is a crowd favorite in the DC area and you really cannot go wrong with a cup of coffee from here. Next up we have the Coffee Bar. They have two locations in the DC area. My favorite and the one being shown in this video is on 17th Street. The store opened up in October of 2015 and has been well loved in the community ever since. Going off of that, the coffee bar has a really strong sense of community. For example, in their other location, they have a display of postcards customers have sent in from all over the world, which just melts my heart every time I see it. Back to this shop, first of all, the aesthetic speaks for itself. The famous neon coffee bar sign catches eyes from the street and makes for a fantastic photo op. One of the reasons that I love this shop so much is because of how warm and inviting it feels. Between the natural wood accents on the tables, the chalkboard walls, and the Gossip Girl references, honestly, what more could a girl need? My go-to order is just a nice coffee, super simple but delicious, and a good pick-me-up. I love coming here and grabbing a seat by the window to people watch, especially in the fall. It's just absolutely beautiful outside. The coffee bar is a great spot for when you need a minute to relax. Because of its location, it's a little bit more nestled into the city and a bit less chaotic than other coffee shops, definitely making it one of my go-tos. And last but not least, we have Swings, another one of my favorite nooks in the city. This coffee shop has been part of the DC coffee culture for nearly 100 years. I believe they have a few locations in the city, but this one on 14th Street is my favorite. I love the massive windows, the marble detailing on the counters, and the overall warm vibe that the store gives off. This is another really great place to go when you want to people watch. Due to the location, it's in a little bit more of a corporate area of the city. I love coming here when I have a break between shifts or just need a midday pick-me-up. 
The staff is always super friendly and excited to see customers. They have a strong business and get really busy sometimes, but they always keep their cool in the peak rush of orders. Swings is committed to sustainability, which I love. They work with family farmed coffee holders, utilize sustainable growing practices, and reinvest in the community to foster long-term relationships. My go-to order is a rose latte when it's in season or a vanilla latte when it's not. Both are deliciously brewed and have a strong, rich flavor. They also have cold brew and nitro cold brew on custom taps all year round, which I actually haven't tried yet, but I think that's going to be my next purchase next time I visit. Like I said earlier, I absolutely love the warm vibe that Swings gives off, and it's definitely one of my favorite coffee shops in the city. So that is everything for this first episode of the coffee crawl. I hope you guys really enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Definitely leave a comment down below with any suggestions, comments, anything like that for future videos, what cities you want to see next, all that good stuff. I'm super excited to keep working on this in the future. I will have links to all of the coffee shops down below and their Instagrams if they have them, just so you guys can find them a little bit easier if you're going to be in the DC area anytime soon. All my social media will also be linked down below per usual. And with all that being said, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.